video, I'm going to help you become familiar with, with the Aquaport launch system uh, created by Pitsco. Now, there are a lot of ways, once you get your rocket made, uh, to get it off the ground and up into the sky. Uh, the Aquaport launch system is just one way. If you go online, do a quick Google search, you'll find dozens of pages with plans and, and even instructional videos on how you can make your own water bottle rocket launcher. But for this class, for the purpose of ease, we're going to use the pre-made, pre-assembled Aquaport launch system got to do is learn how to use it, put your bottle on, pump it up, and you're ready to launch. Now, in order to do this, we need four things. We need, obviously, the Aquaport launch system, uh, which is here. Uh, we need an air pump. Oh, this is a bicycle tire type air pump. This is going to provide the air pressure for our rockets. We're not going to be practicing on real rockets. Um, instead, we're just going to be launching empty two-liter bottles uh, while we learn how to use system. And then we also want to make sure that we have a pair of safety goggles um, because as we put air into our bottles they do have the, the, there is a chance that they could explode. We want to make sure we protect our, our eyes from any bottle rocket shrapnel that may come flying our way. So once I have my four things, I'm ready to go. Real quickly I'd like to walk you through the parts of the Aquaport launch system. You should have, by the time you're watching this video, you should have already become familiar with these parts, um, but I want to walk you through them real quick. Obviously, the Aquaport launch system has a base coming out the front of it. This is our air intake hose. This is what we're going to hook up to the, uh, to the air pump to provide air to our, our water bottle rocket. On the front here is my pressure gauge. Uh, there's also a pressure gauge on the pump, on the air pump. Uh, but we're going to ignore this gauge. The gauge that we're always going to pay attention to is this gauge that's on the front of the aquaport. From there, the air goes into what we call the launch plug. And the launch plug is the part that we're actually going to hook into the nozzle of our water bottle rocket that's going to directly provide the air to it. The launch plug is held in place um, by these nozzle clips, these little aluminum nozzle clips. Those are going to hold our water bottle. And then um, this, little, this little collar that can slide up and down, this is our restraining bar. And the restraining bar is a safety device. Once I have, once I have the, my water bottle rocket on the Aquaport launch pad, I'm going to slide that restraining bar up, and that's going to keep it from going anywhere. Also, uh, of importance is a safety pin. Now, anything will work. Anything that can pass through the safety pin hole, you typically will just use a paper clip, but anything Anything that will hold that in place will work for a safety pin. And then finally, coming out the front is our launch cord. And this is really the business end of the Aquaport system. This is what we're going to pull to make, uh, make our hard work and make our rocket go up into the sky. So we're ready to get started. So let's go ahead and put our goggles on. Now I look really cool. My friends can all be impressed. Take uh, to launch this this water bottle rocket. I'm going to take my empty bottle, and again, you'll be you'll be actually launching a rocket. Uh, it'll have your fuel will be a mixture of water and air. But for practice here, we're just going to use empty bottles. We're just going to use air so that number one, we don't get wet. Number two, um, we don't make a mess. Now, a couple of things I should mention here. First of all, when you practice with this, you're going to probably be doing this outside, and you're going to want to do this on the ground. I have it inside and on a table simply for ease of, of demonstrating for you today. But you'll, again, when you practice, it's going to be best if you take this outside and, and set it down on the ground. The first thing I always want to do is make sure I, I check out my area, make sure that it's safe to launch, that there's nothing above me that I could hit, that there's nobody around me or, or no property around me that could be in danger by my launching of this rocket. Once I've done that primary survey and, and I made sure that the area is safe to launch, or in this case, safe to practice launching, I'm ready to get started. The nozzle plug, this is what a lot of students don't, don't realize, is that this nozzle plug actually pulls out. And this is nice once your water bottle is full of water. Um, you, you, you don't have to, you know, everybody always tries to take the bottle and put it upside down on here, and that doesn't work real well. You actually pull the launch nozzle, or pull the nozzle plug out, and you can slide it right into the Once I have my launch nozzle or my uh, launch plug in place. 
device, I can set my water bottle rocket firmly on top of the aquaport launcher. And once it's on that aquaport launcher, I can close my clips, close my nozzle clips. And my nozzle clips should lock. There's a little lip on the edge of this nozzle. Those nozzle clips should lock around it. Once I, got the, once I have those nozzle clips in place, I slide my restraining bar up, and I insert my safety pin through the hole it's made for. The nozzle clips are now going to hold that bottle in place. There's no way right now that that bottle can go anywhere. It's locked down. It's, it, it's there. It's not going to blast off. It's not going to move from that position until I, as a mission control specialist, decide I'm ready for it to launch. So um, it's very safe uh, apparatus right now. I'll give you a close-up view of what we're doing here. Um, i pull out my launch plug. Insert it into the nozzle of my water bottle rocket. Water bottle rocket sits down on, on top of the aquaport launch system. Close my launch clips, or my nozzle clips. Locks that down firmly in place. Slide the restraining bar up, which holds everything together. Take my safety pin, insert it through the safety pin hole. Everything should be locked down now, good and tight, ready to go. Okay, I'm ready to pressurize or fuel my rocket. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take my air pump, find my air input hose, attach my air pump to the air input hose. I'm going to close off that little lever so that everything's locked together good and tight. And I'm going to go ahead and inflate. I'm going to go ahead and inflate. I'm going to watch my gauge here. I'm going to go ahead and inflate uh, this bottle rocket to probably 10 to 20 psi here. It's not going to be more than a couple pumps. Uh, when you actually do your water bottle rocket and you have your fuel and air mixture in here, you're probably going to go up to about 80 psi. But uh, again, for purposes of demonstration, we're not interested in making this go really high. We're not interested in you know, shooting down birds that might be flying above us. So for now, we're just going to go up to 10 to 20 psi. So again, I'm going to give it two, three, maybe four pumps, and uh, we're ready to go. Okay, once I have my water, bo water, my water bottle rocket fueled, pressurized, it's now ready to launch. Um, what I want to do at this point is go ahead, I can, when I'm ready to launch, I can go ahead and pull my safety pin, Make one more check around the area. Make sure that everybody's clear, that there's no property around that could be damaged. Secure my launch port. And I'm going to count down. And the countdown is, it serves two purposes. Number one, it's fun to count down to a, a rocket launch. But number two, as you're counting down, the people around you know that, hey, something's about to happen here. I need to, need to be heads up about this. So I'm going to go ahead and count down. Five, four, three, two, one.